Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a slide timer indicator. So you'll see it running at the bottom of the screen here and it's going to take two minutes. So that would be a prompt to me that that's the two minutes that I'm allowing to speak to this agenda slide. Now you can add timers like this to all your slides in your slideshow. The trick is in PowerPoint to have a timer that runs for longer than 59 seconds is a little tricky. So we're going to see how to do that. So I'm back in PowerPoint, I'm back on this slide and I'm just going to remove the current timer and we're going to put in a two minute timer. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the insert tab and I'm going to shapes and for this I'm going to create a rectangle and I'm choosing this rectangle here that has sort of rounded corners because I just think it looks better. So what I'm going to do is just rotate it around, hold the shift key as I do so, so that it rotates properly 90 degrees. And now I'm going to come in and make it longer. So I want it to be sort of long and thin and how you represent the length is up to you. It doesn't really matter how long it is but we want to make it so that it disappears in two minutes. So with it still selected I'm going to the animations tab and I'm going to use an exit animation and the one we're going to use is called fly out. So you can see that it's flying out the bottom of the page, not where we want it to go. So we're going to effect options and we're going to fly it out to the right. So everything's working really fine, except that it's really, really fast. So let's go and view the animation pane because we need to see this. Now, the animation pane is typically really small, but for this process, you'll probably want it to be quite big because what we have to do is set this rectangles start and end time and you can't do it. You can't do the duration any longer than 59 seconds. You can see here that it's just topping out. So let's start the animation with previous. So it's going to start when the slide starts and we want to see the animation timeline down here. So it's going to start at zero. So as soon as the slide appears, this is going to start showing. So we're going to go across here and pick up this trigger point. So this is where it ends. And what we're going to do is just click and drag on it to change its end point. Now this can be a little bit finicky. So you want to make sure that you're not actually moving the shape, that you're actually just changing the end point. So just watch what's happening there. And there's the two minute timer. So it now reads as auto. If we right click this and go to timing, we'll be able to say that it runs for two minutes. Well, it says two seconds, but it's actually two minutes. Now what you don't want to do is click OK at this point, otherwise you're just going to kill it. So just click on cancel and now let's go and play the slide and just prove to ourselves that it's working. So even though it's sort of said two seconds in the timer, you'll see that it's actually running really slowly and this would be a two minute timer. So that's how you add these little timing lines to a PowerPoint slide and how you can work with durations for your animation effects that exceed the 59 second limit, which appears to be a limit but really isn't. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.